take me through the meeting you had with George Lucas. The George Lucas thing was pretty funny because uh, there's a great backstory to it. This was the day, the day I got kicked out of Juilliard. There was one of the teachers there, uh, Edith Skinner was her name. She basically created the speech for the American theater. Uh, an extraordinary person. And uh, she walked up to me and she said, Kelsey, I know you've had trouble. And she said, uh, you have Caruso equipment and I think you'll have a great future. So I thought, oh, well, that's great. She said, I think you need to, you should meet this man, this agent. Uh, Mort Schwartz was his name. And so she gave me the number. I called and, and said, and he said, yeah, come on over. So I, I walk over to this, this place. This was a couple of days after I've been kicked out. And uh, <laughs> he, uh, this, is, uh, this is why I, he had a Dutch door. There was a secretary here who sort of was, you know, fighting, and, and Mort was in the back in his office. And the, the top part was open. And he's going, uh, listen, Greg, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. And blah, blah, blah. And he calls, he goes, and, and, and he looks at me, he goes, like, it's Gregory Peck. And he says, uh, <laughs> you, who are you? And I said, uh, Kelsey Grammer, Edith Skinner told me to come over. I said, oh, yeah, okay, come on in, come on in. She says, so he looks at me, he goes, yeah, okay. Uh, what happened at school? He said, ah, you know, I said, well, I, I got kicked out. Um, so why do you think that happened? I said, well, I wasn't going to acting class, <laughs> so, which was the case. <laughs> so um, he looked at me for a second. He said, you know what? He takes out a pencil, a piece of paper on a pad, writes out this thing, go to this address. There's a guy there casting a movie about space. <laughs> and he hands me the thing. It's about three blocks away. I walk around, I knock on the door, and sure enough, they call me in and I, I sit down and there's, I didn't know at the time, George Lucas. And uh, he says, well, we're making this thing about, um, it's a fairy tale in space. You know, two guys rescue a princess. Uh, great, sounds like fun. Uh, so he said, you know, you're right for, uh, there's these two parts. Well, well, maybe, maybe you're the older guy, you look a little older than, uh, he's, you know, like, he's kind of a, you know, gunslinging kind of guy you know, an adventurer. Uh, cool, you know, great, huh? yeah, sounds good to me. Well, I never heard back from him or anything, but uh, about a year and a half later, I was doing a job in San Diego. I got my first job, I was in San Diego, then I went and saw this movie where the, the you know, the then that the ship goes over over your head and then, then you see the, the, the jet or the engines. And um, I, I'm watching it a little bit longer and I think, Holy <laughs> This is that movie. This is that thing the guy told me about. It's, it's them. It's, it's uh, oh my God. <laughs> so, well, you know, I either dodged a bullet or uh, missed a really big opportunity. <laughs> so, but you know what? Harrison Ford did really well in that. Yeah. And I'm a big fan, so. Oh, and the big opportunity was uh, coming up. You audition for Cheers. The yeah. audition ends, no one laughs. What are you thinking? Yeah, that was a <clears throat> that was a, 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 a strange experience because I ended up uh, at the end of the audition in California. Uh, there's a room full of people, not one laugh, and so I put the, the script down and I said, "You know what? I'm gonna go out on the street see if I can get some laughs out there." And I turned around and I left, and uh, I called my old pal Lois and said, let's, let's go take a drive. Let's go down to San Diego, because I'd, I'd known her from San Diego. We went and spent the weekend. And uh, I got back on Monday to you know, collect my things and then head off to the airport. And as I walked into the old Holiday Inn there, that was at Hollywood and Vine, uh, where I think the, the big theater is now, the Kodak Theater, whatever, the, whatever it's called now, um, they said, uh, there's some messages for you, and uh, people have been trying to get a hold of you all this time. And uh, I walked into my little hotel room, and there was a, a bottle of Dom Perignon sitting on the table. I went and opened it up, and it said, Welcome to Cheers. So, <laughs> How cool was that? It was really cool. <laughs> Describe the emotion of driving up to the Paramount lot for the, the first oh, time. Oh, the first time I drove into and... Paramount was great. I mean, it's, uh, I said, it's Kelsey Grammer. I said, oh, yeah, hey, hey, good to see you. Yeah, come on in, here's your parking space. Blah, 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 blah. That was very cool, because the gates, you know, I mean, you know, Hollywood still, it has a sort of, you know, mythology about it. It's kind of a, um, a size about it that makes it really cool to kind of, you know, finally walk through one of those gates and, and be welcomed. That was a nice thing.